think most everyone is fascinated by trains, including myself. When the model train bug hit me, I decided my locomotive would be modeled after a Central Pacific locomotive that was built in Sacramento in the year 1872. Its old-time diamond stack intrigued me. It was built to a scale of an inch and a half to the foot. Many of the castings and fittings of the locomotive were machined in the studio machine shop and assembled there before delivery to the backyard layout. The locomotive and tender weigh about 500 pounds and this amazing little boiler generates enough steam to haul about two tons. With the arrival of the locomotive, it made it easier to complete the laying of the track. It was a big help to haul ballast in the gondola. point out again how important it is to the railroad hobbyist that everything is built to perfect scale. We had a visitor drop in one Sunday from the 20,000 league set and just like the rest of us Kirk Douglas soon had the bug himself. After a little coaching Kirk was right at home as one of my guest engineers. The fascination of model trains doesn't stop with the layman. Several of my friends who have actually been engineers on the big trains like to spend their Sundays hauling kids around on the little ones. There he is, Walt Disney. Hi, Walt. Walt yelled over to me that he'd meet me on the sound stage. I was to see how Alice in Wonderland was coming to life for the screen. After that, of course, I was curious as to just how Walt made those sketches come to life. I had heard so much about the little English girl, whose voice you're going to hear as Alice. And so, Margot, with Walt as my guide, I went deeper and deeper into the wonders.
So you see, this is the result of being a good boy for 30 years. Santa finally came across. See the little throttle in there? See that thing there? And this up here, this is the... Uh, oh, Mr. Disney, <laughs> you want it on the telephone. Oh, thanks, honey.